most easiest topic in the first module of DAA that is design and analysis of the algorithm. Let's see what it is exactly. Order of growth using limits. The asymptotic notation such as big ohm, big omega, and big theta can be defined as can be defined as limit n tends to infinity f of n divided by g of n. When it will become zero at that particular case, f of n is belongs to zero of g of n. When it becomes some constant, then at, at that particular point, at that particular point, f of n is belongs to theta of g of n. When it becomes infinity at that at, at that particular point, f of n is belongs to ohm of g of n. And here we are going to use two formulas. One is L Hospital's rule, and second one is Stirling's rule. Where we are going to use? What is the purpose of this formula? I'll tell you while solving the problem. Let's take up an example and solve it. The question is here. Compare the order of growth one by two into n into n minus one and n square. Let us assume f of n and g of n as the first function is f of n and second function as g of n. Okay, and we got the f of n and g of n value. And let's apply the definition that is limit n tends to infinity f of n divided by g of n is equal to limit n tends to infinity one by two into n into n minus one which is f of n, f of n and n square which is g of n. Take this one by two constant outside. One by two constant outside, and we are left out with n square minus n divided by n square. We just we multiply this n into uh, this inside n n minus one, n into n minus one, and simple simplification. After this, when we simplify this, we are going to get this, and apply the limit n tends to infinity. When we replace this n with infinity, this one by infinity value will become zero. So that's why we replace this one by infinity value with zero. So we are left out with this constant. So what are you supposed to write here? When we get constant means at that particular point, we have to use this. F of n is belongs to theta of g of n. That is what we have written here. That is, f of n is one by two to n into n minus one, which is belongs to theta of what is g of n? That is n square. And here we're gonna have three cases. One is best case, another one is worst case, and another one is average case. When we get some constant value, means that is our best case, and we got zero, means that that is our worst case, and we get infinity, means that is our average case. And let's take up another example. That is. Compare the order of growth of log n to the base two and root n. Let's take this part as f of n and this part as g of n, and apply the formula: limit n tends to infinity f of n divided by g of n is equal to limit n tends to infinity log n to the base two and root n. We can't change we can't change root n, so let's um let's work on log n to the base two. So log n to the base two can be written as log log n to the base e divided by log two. To the base e, that is what I have written here. That is log n to the base e and log two to the base e. After this, let's separate this part and this part. So we gonna get this, and when we shift this log two to the base e to the numerator, the this will be changed. The base and the value will be changed. Log two to the base e will be become will become log e to the base two. Just this part and this part will be interchanged. Okay. After this. When we inter interchange that part and when we replace that, this part will become constant and let's take it outside, and we are left out with log n to the base e and log and root n. Okay, when we apply this in the limit n n tends to infinity, this part will become infinity to the infinity, which is an indeterminate form. See, at this particular time, we are going to use L Hospital's rule. When when we have to use this L Hospital's rule means when we get zero by zero, or Infinity divided by infinity form. At that particular point, we have to use this L Hospital rule. What it says: limit n tends to infinity f of n divided by g of n is equal to limit n tends to infinity f dash of n divided by g g dash of n. That means in indeterminate form, banda ga ni wo mere gade to mere gade and f of n differentiate madi g of n differentiate madi. What whatever the value you get, that will be our result. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Let's take this constant as it is and differentiate these four terms. What is the differentiation of log n? That is one by n. What is the differentiation of root n? That is one by two root n. Substitute the values in this particular equation. So we're gonna get as one uh, log e to the base two and limit n tends to infinity one by n divided by one by two root n. Okay. After this, after after simple substitution, when we replace this to the numerator, when we shift this to the numerator, we're gonna get two as constant. Take this two outside, and we left out with root n. Um, divided by n. When we apply limit infinity, this term will become zero, which is a worst case. What are we supposed to write here when we get this worst case? <clears throat> But the definition, when we get zero, we have to write f of n is belongs to zero of g of n. So that is what we have written here. That is what is f of n? Log it to the base two, and which is belongs to zero. What is g of n? Root n. 
that is why and let's take up another example that is compare the order of growth between n factorial and the root to the power of n look over here we have two different two different function n factorial which is a factorial function and 2 to the power of n is a normal numerical function so we have two different functions what are we supposed to write so by the definition of Schillen's rule we have the formula for n factorial that is root 2 pi n into n divided by u all, all raised to n okay this is our formula for n factorial by Schillen's formula just apply the same and apply the definition of limits that is limit n tends to infinity f of, f of n divided by g of n and limit n tends to infinity n factorial divided by 2 to the power of n replace n fact n factorial with two, root 2 n root 2 pi root 2 pi n into n divided by e all raised to n this is an approximate formula just by Stirling's derivation and i'll upload the link for this you can actually understand this by watching that video okay and the next step is limit n tends to infinity take this part as or uh, take this part outside because we have 2, two to the power of n 2 to the power of n to the power of n 2 to the power of n e to the power of n and we we can take this power n outside that's why okay we are left out with this power n outside and uh, when we apply the limit uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get infinity over here infinity over we're not gonna get infinity by infinity we're gonna get infinity over here that's why uh, that will become uh, comes under average case what are we supposed to write in the average case that is we have to write infinity f of n which belong to ohm of g of n that is what we have written here that is f of n what is f of n n factorial which is belongs to which is belongs to ohm of g of n what is g of n 2 to the power of n this is how we have to solve the problems and uh, i hope this video was a bit useful for you thanks for watching happy learning